so. Okay. All right, All right. Here we go. Here we go. Go text just. Text just. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to, uh, to uh, the, uh, the uh, Jack Slug for uh, what is it? Uh, April. Was it April? Yes, Man, April. Everything's, everything's bleeding together, bleeding now. together now. Yeah, yeah. April. Yeah. April, April uh, Jack uh, Luck. Uh, so, uh, so we will be uh, having, a having a wonderful, wonderful presentation, presentation on, uh, on uh, uh, using, using GIMP, GIMP BC, BC, Image Magic, and FFmpeg by our illustrious uh, uh, Rob McKenna tonight. tonight. Uh, uh, my name is my Dan, Dan Bottleman. I am the current president of the LUG. We're still meeting remotely. Hope to, Hope to change that, change that at some at time, some time. Um, um, but we'll but just we'll kind of be rolling, rolling by whatever, by whatever the, the F, F or, or the, the not NCC. NCC. I don't. I, I don't, deal with, I deal with them a lot too. But the, uh, the, uh, the <laughs> CDC, <laughs> um, uh, whatever <laughs> they they, they uh, uh, end up, end uh, up uh, you know posting, posting as uh, as good contact. Uh, We'll try to follow, we'll try that. To follow that. So we hope so to, we hope to meet, meet in person sooner, sooner than later. Than later. But, uh, but uh, if, nothing if nothing else, you can, you can get on YouTube. You can get onto, can get onto our, our uh, Discord, Discord our, our, right, on our IRC, our IRC channel. channel. Uh, you, can uh, you can also jump in, jump in uh, and uh, do and chatting with us uh, with uh, the big uh, group, much larger group than what usually comes on the email list. We have people all over the world that are on the email list. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's it's tenured. tenured. It's very. It's very um, um, it's, I believe it's, it's as old as the blood. blood. Um, so there's all, so kinds, there's of all kinds of people, fun, fun people, people, very knowledgeable people. people. Uh, so I encourage so you to, encourage join, you that. to uh, join that. Join uh, that. We're, uh, at we're at jackblood.net jack jack um, and dot org and probably dot com. So without further ado, we'll have Rob do his intro and start with the presentation. Thank you very much, Rob. Sweet. So hi, I'm, I'm Rob McKinnon. Um, I've been with the Linux Users Group since, let me find my mouse, wrong screen, there we go. I've been with the, the LUG since like somewhere in the late 90s. I can't be any more specific than that. Uh, I'm retired Navy. I was a Unix administrator at a little company called Idea slash Modus, and then it became a Stadia, and then who knows what it is now. Uh, I jumped ship from there, and I became a network engineer at Main Street Softworks, setting up routers, Juniper routers, switches, and firewalls, and VPNs, and lions, and tigers, and bears, oh my. I'm currently at Bank of America, working as a business analyst. Um, Slackware is my distribution of choice. Um, Slackware 15 Live is unofficially available, so uh, ping me later and I'll give you links to it. Um, I think Will asked me if like uh, Cinnamon or some of the other advanced uh, or the, some of the newer uh, front ends are available uh, for Slackware. And yes, in 15 it does have the latest ones, so that's uh, kind of cool if you want to check those out. I've given presentations on the following. I'm not going to read that whole list because it's just long. If you, most of them are up on the uh, up on the website, and actually I used one of them the other night to configure our syslog uh, or to assist me in configuring our syslog. So you know, check out our archive on uh, on jackslug.org or jackslug.net. So, um, a lot of our old presentations are up there. So, um, a high level look today, I'm going to use GIMP to cut out a section of the picture and then fill in the hole that, that it left. Then I'm going to use ImageMagic's composite command uh, to combine the two pictures, uh, to combine two pictures into one. Then I'm going to use a script and do that numerous times, like hundreds or thousands of times. And from those pictures that I just generated, I'll use FFmpeg to create a movie from those. And at the very end, I'll add a little bit of sound to that movie. So, to start Sounds with... Sounds really cool. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> All right. 
so to start with, I'm going to open up uh, open up an image. And there we go. Can you see that okay, Dan? Uh, it'll, uh, take it'll take a minute take a to. Minute. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'm sure. Yeah. He's probably showing it. Show All right. So, um, first thing I want to, I got my image opened up, and first thing I want to do is I'm going to scale it to 1920 by 1080. And the reason I want to do that is because I want all my pictures to be that size. So, uh, FFmpeg will create a nice, nice movie for me. Currently, you see that the picture is like 30, I don't know, it's something huge. 3,200 pixels wide by 1,800 pixels deep. So we need to scale that. So it's as easy as image, scale, image. Make sure this little link is set. Easy, yeah. yeah, all right. 1920, hit the tab key, and it automatically sets the height to 1080 and hit scale and poof now we're 1920 by 1080 picture so then uh, let's see zoom into the area of interest so what I'm going to do is uh, zoom in a little bit here yes this is I'll scroll back out so yes, this is a picture of the back of my house, and I had some 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 of these landscape blocks left over from a previous, I don't know, structure or garden or something. And my wife said, do something interesting with those. So I said, okay. And I did some interesting things, and she's like, no, that's not quite it. How about build a lighthouse or something? I said, oh, okay. So I made this little structure over here out of those blocks, and it kind of looks like a lighthouse, and she loved it. And I want to scroll over here to our, our structure. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So as you can hopefully see in, in, in a minute, um, it looks like, uh, almost looks like a lighthouse. It's even got a light on the top of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this structure. And I'm going to save this structure as, a, uh, as its own individual file. And then we're going to fill in the hole that it left. Actually, we're not going to fill in a hole, we're just going to cover it over. So, uh, the first thing I want to do is um, I need to add an alpha channel, what's known as adding an alpha channel to here to allow for transparency. So that when I, am, so that when I save this image uh, that I'm going to cut out, it has a transparency layer on the background and it won't have a background. And that's very important. So you come over here to your specific layer and you right click on it and you say add alpha channel. It's as easy as that. That's very important or else you're going to have a background on your picture when you export it and we don't want that. Next is we're going to use the foreground select tool to draw around our object. So our foreground select tool is in this um, behind this lasso. If you right click on the lasso, that's the free select tool. And you have scissors, and then you have this foreground select tool. So we're going to select the foreground select tool. And some options changed over here. And I'm going to shift to the next slide. There we go. So we're going to draw around our structure and end up at the starting point, and then we're going to hit Enter. And what that's going to do is that's going to tell GIMP what's in our foreground. So uh, a couple of things to pay attention to is your draw mode is draw foreground and your stroke width. 
Actually, we'll get to that in a minute. I want to finish what I was talking about first, which is just drawing around this picture. Uh, I'm scaled in at 200%. Is that where I want to be? Yeah, that's good enough for now. Yeah. So I'm going to press and hold my mouse down, and I'm going to draw around this guy. And then release. Ah. And then draw. And then draw some more. And draw some more. And what I'm not going to do is bore everybody to tears watching me take 10 minutes to go around this object. But it is important that you don't just lop things off. And my mouse work isn't the best in the world, so cut me a little bit of slack. I think there's actually tools, tools nowadays, nowadays that, uh, that uh, uh, will, will try to, try like, to like, like, you can kind of sloppy select, select something and then it'll try to figure out where that thing is. is. So yeah. That's more like AI, AI driven, I think. Exactly. I'm not All sure right, so I have that done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter. And that colors um, the foreground, this light blue, and what it thinks is the background in the dark blue. So now I need to confirm what's my foreground and what's my background. And so I'm going to make sure that my draw mode is foreground. I'm going to take my stroke width up to about 20. And as I bring this over, you'll see my circle is pretty wide. And I'm going to start drawing kind of around the edges where I know 100% that I want all this as foreground. spend a whole lot of time on this, but you get the idea. And then when I get to finish with this, I'm going to let go of the mouse. And you'll see that it changes from, a, from the light blue to the actual color of the foreground that I want to keep. So then I want to take my stroke Oh no, I just lost my tools. That was most ungood. Such is Such the horrors of, horror of uh, doing, doing live demos. Doing, demo. doing live presentations. Where did my tools go? Uh, they probably went into a window somewhere that I closed. Tool set were you set looking, looking for? Uh, for? Um, I'm in the uh, foreground select tools. All right, well, I'm going to continue on. Uh, you could do uh, tools, selection tools, foreground select, select, and the image menu. All right, hold on a second. There was an so, airplane so. flying over. All right, say that again. Uh, so, right, image, so image, image menu. Image menu. Uh, oh, it uh, says, oh, it tool, says tool, selection, tool, tools, tools, foreground, foreground select, foreground, and select the image, image menu. menu. Tools. Selection tool, select tools. Foreground select, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I tried that already. Okay. 
All right, so in my, as, as you can see right now, I have the, uh, the little dancing lines going around what I've selected as the foreground. So I want to say select. I think that's already done it for me. What I need to do next, though, is invert my selection so that I'm uh, so that I'm selecting the background, not the foreground. So I'm going to go to select and invert. So now, if I look at the edges of this picture. I can see that the dotted lines, the moving dancing lines, are going around the edge of the picture. So that tells me that it is selecting everything but the structure that I want to keep. So I'm going to hit the delete key and remove all that background. And hooray, that seems to have worked. So now I just want to keep what's in this picture. So I'm going to say image crop to content. And it has done it. And just what I have selected is uh, about 160 pixels wide by about 288 to 286 pixels deep or long, so that's awesome. Now I want to save this picture. So I'm going to go File and Export As. This is important, you have to export this as a PNG. So I think I call this guy Structure. And just for the sake, I'm going to call it Structure 1. Take all your default settings and now that structure is exported. So, what next? Now we're going to cover up our structure in the original picture. So I can close this. I don't care about saving that. I already did. File, open recent, bring back my house. I'm going to scale that guy back down to 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to zoom in. And yes, the back of my house is really that dark of green on the top and light green on the bottom. I need to take some Clorox to it. Mm. So, oh, you live, oh, you in, live Florida. in Florida. It's exactly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not only is it, Not only a, lot is it a lot of times things, things you don't want to go out to, like, like super heat or like, like super mugginess, but also, also like, you know, like, you know everything, everything grows on everything. everything. Yeah. Well, this is the uh, north side of the house, so it gets no sun. The other three oh, sides get lots of sun. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, we're going to cover up the structure. And just like right we do in thing, a, right now, I don't know if you've moved something in the frame, but right now I just see cover up the structure in black. Oh. Well, let's, uh... You might have lost Kemp on the uh, stream there. there. I think it was there a minute ago. I just, uh... Where'd he go? Oh, OBS? OBS? No. Uh, there it is. All right. Whew. All right, you should see it in a minute. I will I tell you if I see it. Right now I see two cover-ups. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, we're back? Oh, All right, we cool. Got back. All right. So yeah, now... <laughs> All right. So, um, just like every other graphics program that we played with when we were kids, um, we're going to just kind of draw over this. So I'm in the rectangular select tool, and I want to come like here, select a big old rectangle, do a control C, control V, and I'm going to drag this guy over here. And I want to show you how to straighten this up a little better in a minute. And another control V, and I'll paste this guy over here. That looks all right. And I'll bring this guy down. Control C, control V. You can see in a minute how my greens don't match up. But that's all right. And I'll bring this guy over a little bit. Control C, Control V. And if I want, I'll bring some of this over. Nah. Control C, Control V. Yeah, looks good. And 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 you get the idea. You can paste more of the mulch over here, or copy mulch and paste it over here, and copy some grass and paste it up there. I have a I have a uh, a cleaned up version of this I'll show you in a minute, but I wanted to go through the, the steps to show you what to do next. Next I'm going to use the heel tool, which is the band-aid, and we're going to smooth out these lines. So I want to take a color that's somewhere in these shades, <laughs> and I'm going to do a control click, and it's going to anchor my, my color at that point. And then I'm going to click and drag and go over that line. And it's going to smudge that line with the current color of wherever that cursor is. I'm going to reposition that. And I want to smudge this up. And I'll get rid of this line. And I'll come up here, and I'll get rid of... That's how they get all those get all actors those and actresses actors actresses to look, look like, like that. that. Exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> A whole bunch of little airbrushes here and there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Control. I'll smudge in that. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I messed up. Uh, control Z to undo. <laughs> He's our friend. <laughs> control Z is our, Z our friend. friend. Yes. And, and you notice when I move, uh, when I hold down the mouse key that the, the anchor point moves as well. And if you move that anchor point over something you don't want it to go over, well, it's too late. You've already added that to your picture. <laughs> so just, you know, be aware of that and use Control Z. He's your, he's your buddy. Uh, shift my anchor point to down here. And we'll smooth out these points. All in all, not great, but not terrible. That's what I wanted to demonstrate there, is how to use the heel tool to cover up those lines that we that we generated. 
uh, once once you're satisfied and, and you've gone through the hour-long process of making this picture perfect, then we're going to export this guy as a PNG, just like we did the, uh, the structure. File, export as, and I call this guy house. And export, take your defaults. Where's my mouse? Okay, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to put the picture, or we're going to put the structure back into the picture. So, I'm going to show uh, what I want to do next. I'll go to my OBS so I can see what you're seeing. There right, I go. So we're going to open our picture, open our house picture, and take a guess at where it goes. So um, file, I want to open this our original guy back up, and I want to take him back oh, down oh, to got the slide, slide deck as the, the, uh, the whole, the whole screen, screen now. Yeah. Give me a second. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll go back to GIMP and slides. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to resize this guy back down to work with me. 1920 by 1080 scale. So the question is, i got to figure out where to put the upper left-hand corner of our new picture so that it goes pretty much exactly where it was before. And I'm thinking that's probably around 15, what do I have in my slide, 15, 10 pixels. And which is like the left-hand side of the leftmost brick. That's pretty close, 15, 10. And the top of the light is where I stopped, so that's about 625, 620. So we're going to put our picture right back there at uh, 1510 and 1620. So how do we do this? I'm going to use the ImageMagick's composite command which says uh, you do composite space any options you want and then the first file, the next file, then the output file. In this case the option I want to use is geometry and you're going to specify whether you're going to use plus or minus x and plus or minus y. So I'm going to use composite dash geometry 1510 plus 620 for my x and y coordinates and now the first first picture is going to be the structure PNG. The second structure is going to be house PNG. And the output file is out.jpg. So, that being said, in here, where's my terminal? I'm going to remove that file. <laughs> then I want to recreate it. So. Uh, ah. I have to come out of slideshow mode, I guess, so I can copy that command. We'll see. That's funny. I just pasted it three times in my slide. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Hey, there we go. So, composite dash geometry, blah, 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 and making it now. Stop. PNG. So, now, 
back over to my image viewer, open, out.jpg, bring this guy up. And now this is the new picture that has been doctored and with my structure put back in it. Jpeg. Can you see that, Dan? I can see I can a, see a, uh, I can see a I picture, see a picture with, with, a, with the lighthouse in it. I don't know if it's the doctor one or not yet. Yeah, it is. It is. Because it says in the lower right hand corner, lower left hand corner, yeah, it says yeah. out, out .jpeg. So, So that seems to have worked. Cool. So moving, moving on with my slides. Uh, page down. That was not what I wanted to do. Page down. There we go. Slideshow back from here. So now, what I want to do is I want to, now that I know I can put this thing anywhere I want to, I'm going to script out how to move this thing around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this guy move down and to the right a little bit. And then we're going to move left. And I say drunkenly, but I thought I'd fix that slide so I only do it straight first. My bad. Then it's going to move up and to the left onto the patio. And then it's going to come down and settle on the corner. All right, so. Um, so I want to show you the one that doesn't go drunkenly and it just goes straight across. It helps if I'm in. All right, so. Um, make straight. So in the script, I set a few variables. The uh, JPEG directory as dot, just JPEGs. I have one called file number, because if I do this one step at a time, it generates over a thousand JPEGs. Actually, it generates over 1,700. So I have to do it like 0001. And then that gets more complicated, as I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm using 30 uh, frames per second for my frame rate. That's for FFmpeg. Uh, step equals 1. I'm not going to do step equals 1. I'm going to do step equals 10. Because it takes far too long to do step equals 1. I'm going to start out with y equals 620. Uh, next, I clean up all my old files. I wipe out everything in my JPEG directory and anything that starts with a little out-st, blah, blah, blah. Then I have a, um, a function in here, a bash function, because I use this several times, and I call it merge picks. And this runs our composite command, just like we, uh, just, like we just did, except it's taking the variables x and y, as inputs, and it's doing exactly what we just did. It's creating a, a, a file from our structure in our house, and it's calling it output or out appended by the file number .jpg. Then I increment that file number by one. One would think that would be simple, not so much, because when you're using bash. Anything that starts with a zero, zero, or a zero something, it interprets that as an octal number. So I have to put this um, 10 pound in front of that file number, so bash interprets it as a regular number, not an octal number. And then I pass that to printf so that it only takes the first four digits of that. So that increments my file number by one. 
So then, scroll down a little bit. So I create the static JPEGs moving down to the right. So I start at x equals 1510 and I go down to x or across to x equals 1590. And I increment by my step value, in, uh, which is 10 uh, from earlier. It runs my merge picks, and then it increments the y value by the step amount. And then done. So it goes back and does the next uh, 1520, and then 1530, and then 1540. And once that's done, it has reached 1590. And now I'm going to go all the way to the left from 1590 across to x equals 150. It's going to decrement by 10. It's not going to change the y value at all because it's just going to go straight across. And then finally, we're going to move up and to the left from 150, x equals 150 to x equals 0. And then what else? Um, then we're going to create our MP4, <coughs> MP4 movie from those JPEGs. So we're going to cat everything in the JPEG directory. We're going to pipe that into FFmpeg. We're going to do that with the image to pipe command. Set our frame rate at 30. The video codec is going to be MJPEG dash I uh, space dash is taking your standard input, i.e. the output of your cat command. Uh, the video codec is libx264. <clears throat> And we're going to make our output file out dash straight dash frame rate dash step dot mp4. That is the script that creates a whole bunch of JPEGs and a movie from those JPEGs. So I'm going to do shift colon wq. And I'm going to run that command. So dot slash make straight. And I'll watch my CPU meters go up a little bit as it generates all these pictures. And I'm watching and I'm watching. It doesn't take too long to do this because I'm doing a step equals 10. What does step, what does step equals, equals 10, 10 do again? Do again? It, it's just it does it by 10 every, 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 every 10 right. pixels. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's not doing every single pixel incrementing by one. It's, it's doing it by ten. So it just it, it it really helps for demonstrations and troubleshooting. Gotcha, gotcha. So there is our uh, our out straight. It's the bottom one. I did ls dash ltr. So it puts my most recent one at the bottom. So now I will show you what that looks like in VLC. Let me bring up VLC. There we go. Media open file. Um, documents log. Out straight. Go. And there he goes. And he's off. Tell me when you saw that, Dan. Uh, you got VLC, you got VLC open, right, open now. right now. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. Hey, nice. Hey, nice. You like that? That's pretty That's cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, moving on. So run it. Uh, we're run it with step equals ten. All right, I just did that. Show using VLC. Did that. Uh, then show the output. Music. What's that? Good choice, good in, choice music. in music. Uh, I'd VLC, I'd VLC had, had, had your, had playlist, your playlist, playlist for. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, <laughs> show the output. All right. So I'm going to go back to VLC and I want to show the uh, out straight uh, using 30 frames per second, but step equals one. I'm not going to make that for you because it just takes ridiculously long. Uh, but 
we'll go back to VLC, media, open file, out straight, 30-1, open. And now... Do you mind, uh, mind uh, popping these, popping these uh, scripts, uh, into, scripts into, uh, into the wiki, uh, too? Wiki too? Uh, sure, yeah. And in a minute, you'll see uh, our step equals one guy cruising across. Oh, yeah, there, oh, he, yeah, goes. there he goes. Much slower. much slower. Much, much slower, yes. But you can see the detail, though, um, how it looks um, transparent <clears throat> around the light and, uh, and the ferns coming out of the top of it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going to control C, uh, cancel, control C that guy. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to move this guy drunkenly almost all the way across the screen because, you know, going straight was just way too boring. So I'm going to show you the code for the, uh, uh, I call it make sign instead of make straight, because we're going to do a sine wave. Why? Because I'm a math geek and I love math and trig and all things math. So, go back to my terminal. Once again, I have the JPEG directory. I have my file number. Uh, step is the same. Frame rate, I'm going to leave it 10 for now. Uh, same starting position. But this time, uh, the number of sine waves to perform. So this guy is going to do two complete sine waves on his travel across. Um, nothing is different in my bash function or my file incrementer. Scroll down a little bit. Moving down and to the right is exact, uh, exactly the same as it was before. What gets, what's different in this one now is when we move left across the screen, we're going to do it in a sine wave function. I struggled with this for to figure this out uh, because Bash doesn't do floating points very well at all and it doesn't do any advanced math functions. But I did find this little thing called oh, BC. Ah, oh. uh, yes. Uh, yes. Basic, Basic calculator. calculator. Um, base, sure. I haven't heard it called Basic Calculator. Um, what I've always thought of it. All right. Uh, Is it retype PC, PC and then you can put in math, math and it gives you out math? Something like that. Yeah, it's called an arbitrary yeah. precision calculating calculator language, <laughs> basic calculator. Huh? Interesting. Yeah, I've never heard it called that. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's cool. But with BC, you can do all kind of cool stuff. But I'm just going to use it to do sine equations. So uh, we're going to. Do this sine equation right here. And everybody remembers what a sine equation is, or what the sine equation is, right? Yeah. So yep. A is your amplitude, the sine of you know two pi over your period, how far how long you're gonna go before you repeat this sine wave. Your x coordinate, your x offset coordinate, which is h, and your y offset coordinate with the which is k. And that's exactly what this function right here is going to do for us. I made remember, my period. Don't wanna, don't wanna, if you don't ahead. remember you don't what a sine wave, wave looks like, looks just, like uh, just stick a fork in a light socket. Light socket. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't tell people to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I'm, hey, no, I'm, I hope. I hope. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
Uh, hey, kids, uh, drink, drink bleach. bleach. Yeah, exactly. It yeah, it'll protect you from the coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that either. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Trust Trump. Yeah. Could possibly go wrong. All right. So, um, so I'm going to make y equal to you know, echoing my x and y coordinates in this giant function to the bc command, and it's going to turn that into my y value. So now that I have a new x value and a, and a y value, it's going to run the merge pictures, uh, merge picks function based on those two values. And then it's going to convert that y value back to a uh, back to a uh, duh, an integer, or else the next steps are going to fail. And it moves it up and left to put it onto the patio. And then it's going to settle it back down onto the corner. And then after that it's done, it's going to create the movie from those JPEGs. So really the main difference is, is this one does a sine wave as it goes across left. Uh, let's see, sine wave's frame rate is set for 10. Frame rate, frame rate. Oh, step is step is 10. Frame rate. Uh, I'm going to set to 30. Shift colon W Q, and I'm going to run the make sign. And we're cruising. Watch my CPU's peg. Not peg, but watch them dance. It's going to take a few seconds longer than the make straight one. Uh, simply because it's, well, it's it's wiggling, so it's doing about 30, I guess, I don't know, 30% more work. I haven't calculated that value. All right, mm, the pictures are done. Now it's uh, creating the movie from the pictures. And the movie's done. So I will display that movie that we just created. Uh, that's out sign 30-10. Okay. Where's my uh, shift to VLC? VLC. Media open file. Out sign 30-10. And open. And there he goes, very drunkenly. Two full sine waves, poof, and he settles on the corner, and we exit. Let me know when you see that, Dan. And I'm watching it. Yeah, you got a sine wave going by. As he moves drunkenly. <laughs> that was pretty that was fun. Pretty fun. <laughs> Slides, where am I? All right, so we ran it with step equals 10, show the results in VLC, I did that. Uh, if I run it with step equals one, it takes about 404 four minutes and 20 seconds to make, so I'm not gonna do that here, but I will show you the output. Uh, VLC. Open file, out sign 31, there we go. And so this guy is running right now. As he moves one pixel at a time across the screen in a sine wave function. Seeing that, Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Much lower. Much lower. Mm -hmm. It looked, it looked, it looked it blurry, but that, but might, that be, might be um, the preview, preview that I'm watching. I'm watching. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. For YouTube, YouTube here. here. Gotcha. Because they're, they're, you know, you know 
watching, I'm watching it like mid transcode where it's not oh, fully, okay. fully, fully transcoded. So it's so faster, faster for me. For me. Okay. So I can, so I can comment on your stuff a little bit better. Yeah, okay, all right, cool. And it settles back down and, it, and then it ends in a minute. Yeah, so my, yeah, so my, my preview, my it preview actually, actually shows like shows streaking, like streaking and, and some weird, weird stuff, stuff going, going on. on. And if you're uh, not if seeing you're not that, seeing then the end users aren't going to see it either. All right, I, I am not seeing that. Hopefully the end users aren't seeing that. We'll find out later. Up on my, <laughs> my little machine, it's hard. It's hard. It's, it, 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 it can barely it can handle. Really handle. <laughs> uh, uh, YouTube. It's a little, a little tiny, tiny, not very not powerful, very powerful machine. machine. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'll go back to my... Slides, where's my slides? Slides, 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 slides. All right, so now that we've got it uh, basically where we want it with a step equals one and a sine wave, now I'm going to add a music track to it. So it's the same FFmpeg. All I'm doing is just adding... Uh, one more uh, input to that stream and I do a make sure my mouse is pointing where I think it is no escape previous I'm adding just a dash I music wave and it adds the music file that wave file to the uh, to the video and I will demonstrate that in VLC as soon as I find my mouse. And watch it again on, on, uh, on the on the actual stream. stream. It looks really fun. It's really, really fun. fun. <laughs> it's really it's neat. Really neat. <laughs> uh, and you got a uh, you got a comment from the YouTube chat from uh, Plick Project. Uh, it's a really neat effect. All right, cool. Uh, VLC media. Wait, 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 wait. Where's it? I, I can move my window around, but I can't click on. I want to close media. Oh, that's why. All right. Uh, so what am I doing? Oh, I'm doing the music file. That's the one. And all right, so I'm gonna open this and watch it run with sound this time. <laughs> I hear the music through Discord, but uh, <laughs> I have the stream muted. So. Oh, okay. So my wife wrote a uh, a piccolo duet for the uh, Doctor Who theme song. Is this you guys playing it? Oh, uh, it's her playing it. She's playing both parts. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. We'll have to take your uh, finished video and put it up on, uh, on YouTube. All right. And I just fade out the music. Cool. Uh, slideshow, current slide, add the music track, show the final video, page down. Oh, that needs to be on. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> any questions? From the peanut gallery, or anywhere? <laughs> I, uh, I uh, haven't seen, haven't any, seen questions any questions yet. yet. Must be doing, Must pretty, be doing good. pretty good. All right. Time check. Wild, wild applause. applause. Hey. Wild, yes, wild applause. Yay. Yay. 
<laughs> well, look at that. It's 7.54. Perfect. Just under an hour. Up, up, up. You got a criticism. Got a criticism. <laughs> Sweet. What project, project says, uh, uh, <laughs> it's missing, it's missing the, reflection the reflection in the window. In the window literally window, unwatchable. unwatchable. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's good. Uh, it's good. And you got no, the applause from the chat. The chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good uh, times, good, good times. Time. Time. Well, that was well, really, that was good. really good. Um, thank you very thank much, you very for, much uh, for doing the, the uh, presentation. presentation. And, uh, uh, I thought sure. that was fantastic. It was it, it was fun to do. Um, Anne was looking for uh, to do a little Doctor Who thing with her with her flute, and I said, you know, I might be able to uh, um, do something with some 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 cheesy video, and this is what I came up with. And uh, she didn't end up using it, but uh, it was still fun to fun to do, play around with, and uh, and, and present. So maybe other people will get some uh, ideas out of this. Very cool. Very cool. Well, well, that was that fantastic, was fantastic Rob. Rob. Uh, uh, Really appreciate you doing the presentation, the presentation this, uh, this, uh, this month. month. It was, it was uh, really cool. Really cool. Uh, I think uh, that's I think one of our neater ones, ones there. If anybody would like to do presentations in the future, we are on Discord, we're on IRC. Hit us up. We're always, we're looking, always for looking for people, people to, to do presentations. presentations. Um, we, we will, will as, I as I said earlier, be eventually, eventually meeting in, in, person in person again. again. Uh, but uh, uh, for right now, right just, now, uh, just uh, check out jackslug.net and our uh, mailing list, our IRC channel, channel our, Discord our Discord channel for any updates, any updates. Um, um, on what's on being what's presented. The website is always up to date, so it gets the updates first. And then, and then we're really we're bad really about bad posting, posting things, things elsewhere. elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Um, um, and by, and we, by I we, I mean all of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it, we're, we're, we're not we're much not the much way of uh, social, social media, media people. people. We're, 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 we're computer, computer techie, techie people. people. So we, so have, we, we have, think we cool stuff happens, but social media scene is not the... It's it's none of our forte. We're not the most on top. Yeah, it's not our forte per se. But I spent the last you know I spent the last month learning uh, learning how to use OBS. So <laughs> you, you did really good at it. So good job. <laughs> well, thanks. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would love to uh, hear from folks, uh, or if anybody has additional comments that they want to uh, drop in there. I see no problems typing. On Discord, on Discord. Um, um, about, about the, uh, presentation the presentation or one that you'd, one like, that to you'd like to do, um, anything, anything you'd like to see from us, from us uh, or, or, or do with us. With us. Um, so we're, so we're always down. Like, like we could we always could do always like do a like kind of a maybe, a maybe a virtual, virtual lug, lug meetup, meetup type of thing, type of thing where, where it's just like, all right, we just hop on, kind of like what we did in the winter. Just hop on, on and, and uh, hang out, hang out and, and uh, help, help people, people with, with uh, issues. issues or like, or, if, like if, you know, show them cool stuff, stuff or something, or like, something that. like that. If you want to be involved, be involved with, something with something like that, like that you want to run, run it, let us know. Um, Hopefully we can, yeah. most people will be uh, vaccinated by next presentation. I don't know, maybe. Did you get your second shot yet? Yeah, I got, yeah, my, I got second. my second. Uh, All right. I'll be, I'll be, I should, should be good in good about, about uh, a week, a week, week and a couple, week of, days. couple of days. All right. So like, so like next, 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 next weekend, next weekend. I'll be good. All right. Be good. Rock on. So, so yeah. And we want to, we um, want to discuss. Likelihood is, likelihood is we'll, we'll, we'll have, have a, a um, um, I mean, because we'll be going by CDC guidelines, likelihood is we'll have a, at least in the beginning, a vaccination requirement for going to the log. Okay. Um, and and uh, we'll, uh, we'll still, still stream, stream it, it on, on uh, YouTube, YouTube and stuff. Okay. To yeah. you know, just yeah. try to make try sure, to make sure that, that everybody can everybody be involved. Can be involved. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, and hopefully eventually, eventually we'll be able to drop, drop that. that. 
Oh, okay. Oh, no okay, protos, no protos uh, uh, putting their name in the hat for the next presentation. You win. You win. Sweet. <laughs> that was easy. All you got to do is there ask. You go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I always love, always uh, love uh, no protos, no protos presentations. Those are really fun. Um, um, and yeah. yeah, so that's it so for that's the log today. today. Uh, if you uh, want to hang, hang out on the, the uh, 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 on, Discord on Discord or on, or on IRC, IRC or whatnot, or we're, we're always we're kind of always around. around. Uh, um, looking forward looking to forward getting to back, get in, the, back in, in, the, in person, person stuff. stuff. Uh, but uh, uh, thank so you very much again, Rob, for doing the presentation. It was fantastic. And I'm going to go ahead and close everything off. So you all have a nice day. All right. And go ahead and stop streaming so I can know when to head. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I should probably.